one mug of builder's tea for the builder. Oh, cheers. Sorry, eyes bigger than <coughs> stomach. You did the right thing. I didn't think they'd suspend him so quickly. Well, he was bragging about how fast he could operate. If I was under the knife, I'd want someone to take the time and not be racing against the clock. I was thinking that they might have found something else. That what? Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, he was so angry yesterday, Ed. He said it was his word against mine. Well, all I know is you've handed it all over to them above you, so they should sort it out. I hope so. You checking up on me? That's right. Well, the good news is that I'm up and dressed and it's not even afternoon. And I've not kicked off at anyone all morning. Kevin was in the cafe earlier. He said she hadn't turned up to work. Hence the visit. You still have a job. Consolation prize for losing me son. You've not lost him. He's still his mum and you always will be. Alfie's got his shiny, brand-new parents, and I've got to step back and accept the situation. I worry about you. I worry about a lot of things, and I know some of it's daft and in my head, but I know what it feels like to lose people you love. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm too tired. Besides, my uh, unpredictable behaviour is getting a bit predictable. Right. She fancy going for a walk? A walk? Yeah, a, a bit of fresh air, sunshine. I thought you liked being pale. I've got sunscreen. It's Manchester. I'll buy you an ice cream. I'll get me cold. <laughs> All right, take care of him. He's precious. Mm. After everything we've been through, I'm going to treasure every moment. You'd have gone for a flick. Mm -hmm. Didn't fancy one. How come you didn't get one? Hey. Eh? You okay? Yeah, of course I am. I've got an ice cream with nuts and strawberry sauce. Who could possibly want more? Well, how's about we get going? It's gone very cold all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Yeah, um... Abby! 